Hi guys, welcome back to my video. It's been such a long time since I have last filmed for you all. So today will be a weigh-in, uh, make me happy, makeup inspire video. But alongside with this video, it's going to be a catch-up, what's been happening. And I just thought it'd be really cool to show some new stuff that I got. Um, this video features the doe lashes because I recently got some and I'm completely in love with them and I just can't wait to show how I'm styling it. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is again prep the skin. Today is such a hot day in Brisbane. So I'm going to start off with this um, Laneige Cream Skin Refiner Mist. And this is a really good product just to kind of cool your skin down. Um, it has got this really amazing like kind of really cooling effect on the skin so I'm going to do that first and next thing I'm going to do is grab some moisturizer and just massage it in my skin okay so while I let everything kind of settle down with the mist and the moisturizer, I want to get straight into doing my eyebrows. So I'm going to talk about like what has been happening in my life. Um, I had a whole month um, of not being on the internet in a way and it was really good. It was very insightful for me, for someone who absolutely get very overwhelmed easily by the internet. I'm sure many of us are. And I've been doing some really deep reflection besides falling to the pit of depression um, which is very interesting time for many of us especially in Brisbane we just been through floods and really crazy stormy weather which is very interesting as well considering my uni got flooded um, I won't mention the name but if you live in Brisbane you know which one flooded so that's what all I'm gonna say we just Well, it's my last year, so it's kind of like hitting me very significantly about like what is to come for the future for me. And I guess that's pretty overwhelming in itself in its own way. Okay, so I just fill my eyebrows in um, and I'll, again, I'll put all the products down for you guys. But all you need to do to do Wayne's makeup is it's a very natural makeup look. So you want to like just fill in your eyebrows in naturally. I'm using this cover photo, which is very dewy the makeup and it's very natural so what i'm going to do is now is i'm going to prime my eyes to get that really strong um to make certain colors stand out when you take a photo it's really interesting how like half the product that i'm wearing right now just <laughs> melted my skin out. that's how hot it is i'm doing a makeup look isn't that ironic i'm doing this makeup look in this heat oh my gosh <laughs> with a um kind of like a moffy brown shade you want to focus from the inner socket and bring it the overall bring it up to the brow bone If you have like eyelids like mine, you won't. You're not gonna see anything if you don't bring it up. <laughs> see when you open up my eyes, you guys can see the color. Okay, and then on to the next bit. I'll be getting a bit of a little bit of a dark, like a dark brown shade, like a the tiny bit of a dark brown shade. You're just gonna during the eyes, I'm gonna just slowly shade it outwards. Now it might look really dark, I think. Like arch. Feels like it's really. Like, I feel like I'm building a little bit of a crease show there. Don't worry, this is gonna be. It would just capture better on the photograph when you take a photo. My crease. And then. Once you finish doing all that, um, I like to. There's a part where we bring the eyeshadow 
a tiny bit lower. So I'm gonna go back with the mothy shade and we're just gonna run it underneath the bottom of your eyelashes like so. Thing I like to do is grab a bit of a like a light lilac shade. It looks like a really and sweep it just the mid section of my eyes. darker eyeshadow um, preferably a dark brown we're going to be lining my eyes just to create a base first and the wing not too sharp something like that would be good it's just following the natural curve of my eyes now we're just going to run it along the bottom of my eye line. um if it's any better we can always grab a brown eyeliner which I might just do I'm not gonna make anything like I did a slight wing but it's not like super duper long so if, when you look away from my eye you can just you can tell it's there but yeah I try to make it very natural as possible because in photos it would show up as very um short okay Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And I would say we're going to put some, um, like, what's the word called again? Uh, mascara but at the moment I think it's better if we start doing the gems first and then put on the mascara because then you can have time to tweak everything in between that so I think there was a total of three six nine twelve I think there's 14 gems in total in the eye makeup look which is very very finicky so I did draw a diagram up <laughs> before beforehand to do the makeup and also got the reference photo here and I'm am, I'm am demonstrating you guys with one eye and then I'm gonna do the other eye for you. So what you wanna do is that pair of scissors. I've got um so these are the bigger gems. I've got even tiny ones. So this is two millimeters. This is three millimeters. We need like um one of each and you'll need a pair of tweezers. So very very finicky makeup look but it'll be very worth it once we get the hang of it so i'm gonna grab a pair of small tweezers you're gonna have to chop these babies up i think there are 13 or 14 of them in total i'm not too sure sorry i can't give you guys a defined thing um and i'm gonna get some lash glue hold up i know it looks really strange but i'm just really following because so what happens is the eyebrow is when you're lying down, see if I'm like, look from the side. Following the, the kind of oval bone, like oval brown bone. Oh my God, hang on. that's much better see when you lie on the side see it better I know art um, and then she's got this smaller gem as well in the corner of the eye so what you want to do is be really careful because these things can get obviously this is very dangerous um, so don't stick it too close to you obviously your eyelid or like more like your when you can't get it out so just put it your eyeliner like where these two eyeliner meets okay and it's more to come um i'm just gonna do all small ones first and then work towards the big ones that's a bit better one two three four one up top 
And lastly, we got another, like, okay, I finished all the small ones. Yay. That's exciting. Now we can move on to the bigger ones. So there's one on top here. Cool. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of work. <laughs> but, um, anyway. Okay, moving on. So we're going to go, um, I believe we got three big gems, which is perfect. Ooh. For the amount I've got. Seriously perfect. Um, yeah. Cool. And that's one of them. So if you guys could get <laughs> the exact kind of look towards it, I guess. This is what it looks like. <sighs> that's a lot of work. And I'm going to have to do that for the other side. Yay! It doesn't look like a really nice makeup look, but when you lie down, <laughs> I guess you can see the magic of it. Hi! So I finally, finally finished all the jewels for the makeup look. Now I'm just putting on the false eyelashes. It's gonna hold the the inner corners. I oh know this looks so weird. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold the inner corners because I want that to stick. Okay, cool. That's one of them done. Look at those lashes. I mean, they're very, very whimsical. <laughs> right? Do you see the difference? <laughs> I see them. So, yeah, I'm um, gonna do that. Um, this lash I'm using is by Doe, obviously, and it is in fairy dust. I did trim them. As you can see, I did trim them um, because they are a bit too long, and when they're long, they rub um, against my eye on the side of my eyelids, and it's so uncomfortable. So, when you're wearing these lashes, make sure you like cut them to your size. Highly, highly recommend. This is a very dewy found like makeup foundation, so it doesn't cover all your flaws. So I'm gonna do that, working from my middle of my face and working outwards. Look at that. Look how incredible that the application is. It's so smooth. So taking the next product, it's the Lisa Eldred Seamless Skin uh, Elevate Glow. And it's like a liquid highlighter, which I absolutely love. See how much like product that is? It's a lot. So I'm just going to use that much. Now don't forget, I'm doing this for like the... Really like oval bone. Okay, so that's the oval bone. And just really working with that skin. See that? <laughs> Seems like a lot of product. It's gonna. Look at that glow. Look at that. Oh my god, like look how pretty it is. So I'm doing a very, it's very glowy. Look how this is really pretty in looks. And then I'm grabbing my favorite product all the time, which is my hourglass one. Guys, it's just absolutely stunning. Um, and I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna use the middle color and just really working on top of that amazing amazing highlighter last thing i want to do right which is really nice and easy is getting some gloss i'm using the lisa eldred gloss any gloss this has got a little bit of shiny metallicness to it and that's it um, wear your favorite outfit. Sorry the lighting keeps going in and out. But thank you all so much for watching this video. My battery is going to run out. But I hope to see you guys very soon. I did only touch briefly about what happened. Um, and focus more on the makeup. But I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do recreate it, please tag me. I'm so excited to see how you guys come up with this really fabulous look. Um, and until then, I'll see you guys really soon. Bye!